Hi friends, in this video, we will see how to read MRI of the knee joint. So basically we will take three types of cuts, they are sagittal cuts, coronal, axial. Sagittal is you are seeing from side, coronal is front to back. Axial cuts are like you are cutting a log. So, the image what we are seeing right now is they are the axial cuts. Our main aim in reading MRI of the knee is to look for the bone, to look for the cartilage, ligaments, tendon muzzle, bone marrow. These are the main things. Of course, patella, patellar cartilage, patellar tendon, quadriceps tendon, MPFL, the ligaments, ACL, PCL, MCL, LCL, PLC. So coming to these axial cuts. These are seen from the top to bottom. In the top, from the top to bottom, if you are seeing, you are seeing the contusion in the posterolateral aspect of the femoral condyle. See, here, here, here you are able to see, here you are able to see. Okay, which is one of the secondary sign of ACL tear, anterior cruciate ligament tear. So how do you know which is medial and lateral? Of course, by seeing fibula. See here is the fibula. By seeing this, we will come to know which is lateral and which is medial as fibula lies lateral to the tibia. And also one more clue is by looking at the many sky. Okay, the lateral meniscus is smaller, the medial meniscus is larger. Okay, and you can also see bony contusion in the posterolateral aspect of the tibia in this patient, which indicates there can be a cell tear. Okay. So, we can also see the popliteal vessels in these cuts and also we are able to appreciate a gap medial to the lateral femoral condyle Now let us see the Coronal cuts. These are the coronal cuts. In the coronal cuts, we are going from the front to the back. In the back, you will see the fibula. In the front, you will see the antenon of medial and the lateral meniscus. This structure is the IT band. And here you can see contusion in the lateral aspect of the femur and which we have already seen in the posterolateral aspect there. And we are able to see the PCL lateral to the medial femoral condyle but we are not able to appreciate the mm, yeah, we have some fibers there. As we go there we will see the body of the both the medial and the lateral menisci. If we go still posterior, we will see the posterior horn of the medial and the lateral meniscus. This is the MCL. What we are seeing is the MCL. 
this is the it band and uh, how to see plc we'll discuss in the next videos and it band lies more anteriorly this is the fibular collateral ligament these are again the axial guts these are the sagittal guts sagittal guts are very important to see for the acl tear so these are the t2 images so from the medial to lateral again the clue is in the lateral we'll see the fibula okay in the medial the tibial plateau lies triangular it's triangular whereas in the lateral side the tibial plateau is quadrangular the posterior horn of the medial meniscus is slightly larger than the anterior horn that's why here we are able to see large posterior horn of the medial meniscus the cartilage looks intact we are coming still from medial to lateral we are able to see the pcl but we are there is some discontinuity there is some hyper intensity in the fibers of the acl okay but definitely this is not a normal acl i am not a radiologist i am an orthopedic surgeon patient examination is the first thing to me doing the latchments anterior drawer pivot shift test for the acl for the pcl posterior drawer test quadriceps active test godfrey sign then the mcl for the mcl valgus stress at 0 and 30 for the lcl varus stress at 0 and 30 and for plc dial test okay and there are different tests for patella also okay the quadriceps tendon is nice the patella tendon is nice the patella cartilage is good okay there is no meniscal tears i mean medial meniscal tear there is no tear tear of the lateral meniscus it's all what we are able to appreciate in the sagittal views so we have seen the acl we have seen the pcl we have seen the mcl we have seen lcl we have seen the cartilage these are again the sagittal cuts we are able to see the posterior lateral aspect the contusion of the femur and also the tibia these are again the sagittal images the lcl looks normal so by this sorry lcl we'll see in the kernel cuts the mpfl is good looking good in the axial cuts so by this mri as an orthopedic surgeon i came to a conclusion that there is a secondary sign of acl tear and that is bony contusion in the posterior lateral aspect of the distal femur lateral femoral condyle so i suspect a acl tear for this patient i hope this video is helpful to you now and then whenever i get a patient with acl tear or any 
ligament is tear of the shoulder and knee i'll try to take a video of that i hope this video is helpful to you bye bye